Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another educational video brought to you by the Trader24 team. We all know that the most important thing for a trader is to move based on a well-prepared trading plan. This is to minimize the emotions and psychological pressure during the decisions and execution of the trade he intends to do. The aim is for the trade to be planned and followed with maximum discipline. The more the trade follows our rules and our plans, and less our anxiety, fear and greed, the more we lead ourselves to a successful training model with duration and stability. Our predetermined plan is what guides us in the trade, not the intensity of watching the chart and our random reaction. Controlling our emotions during the trade is the most difficult obstacle standing in the way of achieving our goal and in the harsh reality of the markets. Every time the candlestick moves up or down, it is a challenge to press the buy or sell button without any real reason to enter the market. From our first contact with technical analysis charts, we know that the candlesticks and the trend depicted in a price chart are simply a representation of the psychology of investors to buy or sell. Bullish prices express the tendency for risk-taking and profit expectation, while bearish prices express the appearance of fear and risk aversion. Greed and fear are the two main psychological motives that drive markets. But is this an adequate interpretation of market movements? It could be if all parties to the markets were private traders. But every day, private traders are confronted with professionals who also have their own special characteristics. There is a big difference between the way private traders move and the way professionals who manage bank or institutional investor accounts move. When the fund manager is getting ready to take a position in the market, do you think he's worried about the course of the trade, about whether it will lead to a loss? Do you think the damage will take its toll on him psychologically? Or is he resting on his laurels as the decision to trade has been made by his supervisor after a study of the risk factors involved in the move? And furthermore, the fund manager in each trade does not put their own funds, but third-party funds. The entry of a professional trader into the market is simply part of his job, and like any job, it has the daily characteristics of constant routine and repetition, so it is second to nature to the trader. Let us now consider the private trader who from his home or his business premises, on a break from his main occupation, chooses the same move as the professional trader, but on a smaller scale. Although they have chosen the same market move at the same time, it is easy to see how differently the individual and the professional trader appreciate and think about this move. First of all, the private trader trades with his own capital and not with third-party funds, which is in itself has a different dynamic as any result of the move, profitable or loss-making, will have a direct impact on the private trader both in his psychology and his income. The private trader does not have a guaranteed salary or income at the end of the month from his movements, unlike the professional whose remuneration at the end of the month is guaranteed as long as he follows and implements the investment options and risk parameters predecided by his superiors and prepared by the investment committees. The constitution of the professional environment and the hierarchical process in fund decision making, the professional discipline of management are challenges that the private trader must recognize and address. The emotions of greed and fear do not affect the professional trader in the same way that they affect the private trader. In fact, greed may no longer be the decisive factor influencing the experienced private trader as the goal of the experienced trader is continuity and stability of profitable moves. Achieving goals through lower risk moves shows that greed has given way to fear. It is fear that sometimes prevents us from taking a position in the market, even though we clearly see a solid setup as we consider a series of loss-making moves. It is fear that does not allow us to follow the trading plan we have designed, and we make paradoxical interventions. Fear leads us to exit the trade too quickly and with little profit, as we fear that holding the position may be unprofitable. Fear leads us to get caught up in trying to discover new perfect strategies as we fear that we have made a mistake somewhere. Fear can be controlled through the trading plan and discipline. Careful planning, selecting criteria, risk factors will over time replace the effect of fear. What about the greed we are talking about? Forgotten? No. As a wise American trading high priest used to say, greed is the fear that we have not earned enough. 
Thank you for watching this educational video. Stay tuned to trader24.co.za for our next videos. Trade the global markets with HF Markets. Open a live account at hfeu.com.